Well, I just spent the better part of the morning at the fraternity house going over punch list with the house manager and taking a little break, doing a little shopping on the square. Look how pretty it is just from this vantage point. Hang on. That is the old courthouse behind those trees. Okay, what's going on there? There we go. And there it is. Those are shops, some great shops over there. More shops down that way. And then there's a Jeep in the way, but I'm gonna I'm planning on going in there in the Nielsen's. 1839, it's been around since 1839. First, I'm gonna pop into here. This is Hinton and Hinton. It's a men's store and a women's store. I've gotten a few really cute things for me on the girl's side and for Michael and the boys on the boy's side. Nice. So I'm walking to Jake's fraternity house and I miss buildings like this. Look how nice this looks. I don't think the kids realize how good they have it. Going to classes in buildings that look like that or there's one coming up. I don't know. Just look. Oh, here comes. It's called the Lyceum. It's like their like flagship building. It's in the distance over there. See that? pretty that is. And then there's another one over there. Some trees. There's another one. It's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I think most college campuses are, but oh, a sorority's taking their picture in front of the, I don't know which one I can't Alpha something. I can't see the letters. They're taking their picture in front of the Lyceum. So cute. Oh, very cute. Morning. Sorry I didn't film as much as I thought I would yesterday. Time gets away from you when you're traveling by yourself and you got a lot on the plate. Anyway, it's Tuesday. Yes, it's a beautiful rainy day in Mississippi and it's cold. It's like 57, 58, which is pleasant to be cold a little bit. Uh, I'm waiting for Jake to pick me up. He just finished class and I'm heading back over to the fraternity house uh, for some more meetings. Having a meeting with house mom, having a meeting with the property management company. Sometimes it just helps to have an adult push things along a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, and the reason he's picking me up is because even though I'm here staying at the inn at Ole Miss on campus and I have a car, there's no actual parking anywhere near the fraternity house and it's cold and it's raining and yes, I have an umbrella, but it's like a 20 minute walk and I'm being a little bit of a baby. And since Jake just got out of class, he offered to come pick me up. So this is what's going on behind me. Here. Hello, I'm the worst vlogger ever. This always happens. I meant to film. It's been pouring down rain. Now I'm on my way to dinner with Jake, which I really want to vlog. However, he's bringing a young lady with to dinner who I'm meeting for the first time. And I don't think it's a good time to whip out the camera and be like, hey! So, um, I, I'm going to restrain myself and not video this. Although I'm sure Michael would like me to so that he can meet her as well but I'm not gonna do that to the poor girl so I'll probably see you after dinner maybe I don't know but I am getting chicken and dumplings for dinner I'm very excited it's my favorite place to eat in um, Oxford it's called Ajax Diner it's not like fine dining it's just good old-fashioned southern homestyle cooking and it's so fattening and so unhealthy and I love it so I'll see you 10 pounds from now just kidding see you after dinner Many hours later we had a lovely dinner I didn't eat as much as I thought I would. I can't eat like that anymore. Last time I ate that was before I started eating well. Anyway, Jake came back to my room to say goodnight. So he's here and uh, his nose is okay. It is actually it's a fine. slight fracture, but not deviated. So they don't do anything to it. There's no shift. No shift. Yeah. Mm, your nose. So I'm gonna say goodbye to my young man. Next time we see you, October 
Okay. 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 I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, Wednesday morning. A little cloudy, a little sad. I'm heading to Memphis. Didn't get to film much here. I never get to film as much as I want. I'm all loaded up. I have my coffee ready to go. I have my map loaded. And I'm heading north to Memphis to meet my friend Claire for the launch. Claire started off as a subscriber. I met her at a meetup here. And we became fast friends. So let's go see Claire. Last time we did this and I and I forgot to press record. Yes, thanks. So. Look, it's Clary. Every time I come to Mississippi, I have to stop in Memphis and see my friend Claire. I want these glasses so bad. I love them. I love that. Anyway, we had, this is really good. Where are we? We are at Life Kitchen in East Memphis and we had a wonderful therapy session. We did. She's in heels. No, I'm not in heels. Yes, you are. Ish. They're not flat. I mean, you look a lot taller than me right now. Ish. Yeah. Well, I am a little taller than you. Are you? Five six. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we're I'm gonna we're gonna say goodbye. I'll see you in the airport or something. Bye. This is local art by the uh, high school kids in town. How nice! Like how is this really beautiful? I mean, I know I'm in an airport. You don't maybe expect art in an airport. Maybe you do. But this is done by high school kids. Not that. Isn't it really nice? I mean, so talented. Okay, that's a map. I just think really neat. I'm on a people mover. So there you go. Obviously it's all Memphis themed. There's a pyramid. Very cool. Just a little bit more. I want to get them all in because they're just so cool. And then there's some photography coming up too. It's a very easy airport to get in and out of. As you can see, never particularly busy. So, there you go. Moving on the people mover. Hey, I'm back. I'm home. I'm already swatching stuff. I came home, I was gone, what, basically, well, four days, kind of? I came home to some uh, boxes and things, and here's what we got. We got more makeup forever. Liquid mats. I can't remember. I'm thinking I didn't like these, but I can't remember. And then this giant box. Medicine. Held Medicine. just, where'd I put it? Come on, babe. <laughs> the giant box. Just this highlighter from Ofra that I am so excited I remembered to order because I forgot to order a few of the Ulta things while I was out of town. And then these lipstick swatches. Oh, well, hello, Rowdy. Were sent to me. It's the new limited edition hourglass lipstick slash eye stabber with two refills of different colors. So that's kind of exciting. And then there's two giant boxes from L'Oreal. So I'm gonna open those up and I'll show you what's in there. Oh, also, the only thing I bought for myself when I was in Oxford was this clear purse. Cause that's like a thing now. I got each of the boys a new t-shirt, but that's what I got for me. Let's go see what's in the L'Oreal boxes. This was in the first box. And that is really cool. So face, lips, oh, face, eyes, lips. So face, I haven't pulled this open yet. Oh, it's the new Infallible Concealers. And what are these? Pro Glow. Night. Oop, we're not focusing. Night. Oop. Shoot. Very cool. I'm so tired. I'm going to play with these later, I promise. And then I... Oh, these are the new Slim... Oh, okay. These are brows. These are the new Slim Liners. And that's some kind of eyeliner. Oh, ooh. Okay, I'm squealing like a little girl. These are the metallic eyeshadows. Very pretty. Oh, well, and there's more. And more of those mono shadows and some really wearable, beautiful colors. Nice, L'Oreal. Wait, there's some more. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got those all out. And then, lips, let's see what we got. Ooh, the matte infallible mattes. These look like infallible matte kind of nudes. Don't these almost look like, some of these look like concealers. I don't know how I feel about those. You know how I feel. But then in the second box, Bam! I mean, you should, this looks, this is like, I don't know what this is. Balmain, is it Balmain? Balmain, I don't, you know how I butcher French. It's like my goal in life to ruin every French word ever created. Balmain, Balmain, it's probably not Balmain, but the box is stunning. How does this work? Pull, oh, it's magnetic. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I see I've already ruined the effect. 
Oh, wow. These are, I don't even know, what am I looking at? What is this? Ooh, I mean, I know they're lipsticks, I'm not stupid. But what does this say? Balmain L'Oreal. It's a capsule lipstick collection. 12 new and specially designed shades of L'Oreal Paris cult lipstick franchise. And three string color themes, Glamazon, Rock, and Couture. Each one after a L'Oreal Paris spokesmodel. And then, and then, dun dun dun, whoa. Whoa, all right, let me pick like one of each. This is gorgeous, just this. I don't even care what's inside. This is ridiculous, okay. I know I'm being really silly. I haven't slept in the last three days. This could be sleep deprivation, hang on. All right, so the problem is they're all sealed. They all have these security, let me pull one out. Seals on them, I did manage to unseal one of them. Uh, one of the green ones. I was intrigued, what can I say? It's uh, not my shade. Anyway, this is really cool, and when I'm not um, very, very tired, I will play with these and swatch them. So I have 24 hours, I get to sleep in my bed tonight, and Thursday night, and then I have a car service picking me up at 6.50 in the morning on Friday to catch a plane to LA. So I'm gonna go get some beauty sleep and get off my face so I look less like death. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm home for one full day and I'm spending it with this man right here. I missed you, it's Not been really. four full days. It's, let's just be honest, it's 1.20 in the afternoon. You're just now, like in the last I, seven minutes, you're finally dressed. And well, I've been doing work and catching up and right. emails and editing and all that before I leave again. And I just got back, so. You've been okay. doing stuff. It's not like you've been sitting around waiting. Anyway, we big are trading, going, going to, has it been? Oh, gosh. I'm not paying attention to the markets. Anyway, okay. Um, maybe you should. Anyway, we're getting lunch at the grocery store because that's what you do when you live in our little bubble. And then we're going to just do a little bit of grocery shopping and order a cookie cake for Shane to ask his homecoming date to homecoming by writing Hoko with a question mark on it. That's That's, it. that's his request. I'm like, that's okay, it. we got it. We can do that. Piece of cake. Wait. Maybe we should come up with a creative. I didn't know. No, this is Shay. Right. Look, it's because you know it's she's a diamond dancer. So we can make like a, a thing about her dancing. You know what? Let's this is no. This. I'm not taking over for Shane. This is come Shane's on, we deal. Be a no. More than that. This is not our. This is not our. As one of my very good friends says, not our monkey, not our circus. We're just helping him out by placing the order. We're doing what he told us. That's all there's to it. I did zhuzh up the mom though. I, I went a little nuts with the mom, so. He's literally dragging her. He is one stubborn. Whoa. King of the mountain. Ah. High five him. You missed. Oh, I forgot to show you the cool labels. You missed. I did not film any polish and prayer this time, but we were the snack moms. And I had these labels printed. Go Rattlers! I designed them with Pink Monkey. Beat the Cardinals. Aren't those cute? Anyway. So that was that. And then they were selling t-shirts. I don't even remember what these t-shirts are for. But. Thank you for that, Rowdy. This is what he does. Are you going to do it for us? Are you going to? That's the giant bone. He picks up. It is a cow knee. There he goes, and he picks it up, and then he just keeps dropping it over and over because he thinks it's funny. Sounds like he's playing. Really? He says it sounds like he's playing with blocks. My friend Susie said today. Anyway, they're selling these T-shirts for the um, football team. Isn't that cute? Life, liberty, and football. When you can't make them see the light, make them feel the heat. I don't know if Ronald Reagan really said that, but that's what we got. And it's a pocket tee, which is cute. So, there we go. Alrighty. I'm pretty much packed for tomorrow. Car's coming at 6.50 to take me to the airport, so I'm going to wash up and call it an early night. It's about 9.30, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I am on a plane to Los Angeles. Look at this. Oh, my one year.
a C fan. We love you too. Yeah. That's my guy. That's your guy. Well, it's good to see you. you have guys. Thank you. I want it. I want the sign because I'm I'm that. That's just too cool. All right. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to my very dark and swanky suite. So let's start at the beginning, shall we? We'll do it. Oh, see, I told you it's dark in here. There's no way yeah, there's lights. Oh, it's motion detection. And that's Michael. Hang on. We will resume the tour shortly. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we are at the front door. Let me do a quick little tour, because this might be, I know a hotel room is a hotel room. Some people don't like hotel room tours, but um, this one's cool. Also, I'm exhausted. Like, I feel I've not slept in like three nights, so forgive me. Okay, here we go. You come this way, and here is the bedroom. Can't figure out like what era this furniture is. Like, it's, uh, to me, this is like late 80s, which I think is now cool. Um, Flat screen TV, mirrored wall. Uh, here you can see my traveling outfit. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Closet. Okay. So then from the bedroom area, you have this cool screen. And then you have two steps down. And then you have like this whole living room deal, which is very cool. There's a fireplace. There's a wall switch for that. You have your whole entertainment area, bar area, and desk. And there's a little balcony out that way. So, it's cool, don't you? I think it's cool. Anyway, I am gonna quickly unpack and I'm gonna take a nap because, because I can and I'm really tired. Some kind of bird on my balcony, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'll catch up with you later. Angie just texted me. Angie Hot and Flashy's here. She just checked in. We're all gonna chill for a little bit and we're gonna meet up for dinner. All right, the Hi. vloggers are getting their cameras out. Look, it's the back of Angie's head. Angie hot and flashy. She's here. Looking hot, not so flashy. We are on the rooftop of the Waldorf Astoria. Here we are, reunited! Oh, so cute! It's so beautiful here. Let me show you some of the gardens. All right, now I have to do the same. Everybody's doing it. How could you not? This is beautiful. Marnie's here. Oh wait, we should... gotta do some work stuff. Hang on. All right, we just finished lunch on top of the roof at the new Waldorf Astoria. Waldorf. I've been hanging with Boston people. Waldorf Astoria. Are we going? Don't we want to go that way? Inch. Do you want to go up? Don't you want to walk up Rodeo? You want to walk up Rodeo for a bit? Anyway, we're discussing what direction to go. If we start walking this way, do you think she'll follow us? I don't think so. Um. Anyway, so we're on Rodeo Drive. We're going up Rodeo. Okay, good idea. Because it starts here. Yep. Um. So yeah, we're just wandering and uh, walking off lunch. Yeah. And yeah, that was beautiful. There's the Louis store and Dior and Fendi. Anybody need to pick anything up? No. I need a dress for tomorrow. <laughs> I need something to wear. And uh, yeah, it's whoops. <laughs> and it's uh, it's a beautiful day here. It's not a bad afternoon. It's Friday, right? Right. Yeah. Friday afternoon. We're back from our little adventures uh, in Beverly Hills, and we're back at the hotel. Um, I did go into one boutique and actually buy something. And I have this pretty orange box. Actually, let's be real, it's orange and brown. Probably not the cutest color combination, but what is in this box? Nothing that exciting. Um, I bought another bottle of my favorite perfume, the Amber Nargile, and the guy was so sweet. Look at all. First of all, when you buy something at Hermes, even if it's just a bottle of perfume, you get like a like an envelope for your seat. Um, and he gave me all these samples. So in all of these little boxes are two tubes. There are two vials of perfume. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Pretty cool. And then we went to Bobby Brown and I got a sample of her mascara, which is really, it's a really nice like, sample. Anyway, Angie has like a woman of endless energy and she and her friend want to go out for dinner again. It's like, what time is it? Five o'clock here. We just got back to the hotel. In my world it's seven, in her world it's eight. And we feel like we just had lunch, so I think I might be like a spoil sport and just change into my pajamas, wash my face, and order room service. Because I've been traveling all week and I cannot keep this pace up. Cannot. And I don't think I'm sad, but tomorrow, have I even sad? I don't know. T 
tomorrow I'm here. I'm here with we are here with Neutrogena, and we're here to talk about. I've talked about this before. Actually, I have a box of it handy right here. I'm here to talk about the Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream. Remember, I talked about this like back in January, February. So I'm here to talk about it again. And uh, we, Angie and I are here to do one-on-one -on -one interviews with their brand spokesperson, who happens to be Nicole Kidman. Oh my God, I am interviewing Nicole Kidman, me. Like what? And then Angie, get, we both get a one-on-one -on -one with her. It's insane. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna rest up, put away my prizes, my spoils, get in my jammies, wash my face, call it a night. Well, good morning, it's the big day. I'm um, sitting in my living room and room service just came. So let's see. I mean, I know what I ordered, but. And then under here. Very basic breakfast. Very nice. I will nibble. There's no way I'm eating all of this. One, I'm too nervous, and two, that's a lot of food. I also have fruit and some toast. Alrighty. I also have my interview that I need to practice. I need to shower. I need to do something about all this. And, um, <sighs> okay, I slept well. I was not, I didn't get nervous like I normally do. I don't, I got nervous two nights ago. I don't, I don't know, we'll see. I'm sure I'm, it's the calm before the storm. More um, skin prep for today. So I am using my new Skin Iceland, I think, eye patches. I've used them once before. This is to help me look and less tired and glowy and awake. And then if you um, follow me on Instagram live, you will have <laughs> seen hopefully the debacle of me trying to cover up this giant horrible zit. So um, I did some research and Neutrogena released fairly recently this, they have a full face um, acne light mask, but then they also have this like spot treatment one. And um, strangely enough, I'm here with Neutrogena and I had no idea about this. I found it at Ulta, and so I ran out and picked it up the day before I left. I guess that would have been Thursday. And um, it has miraculously um, completely removed all the swelling and bumpiness. There's a little scab, not to be gross, but that's because I picked at it before. So this thing, I think, is it might be a little miracle stick. Um, I'll have to keep using it and let you know, but um, normally a big cystic acne thing like that would not have healed in basically 24 hours. So... Do this three times a day on clean skin. It's two minutes, you just hold the pen up. And um, this is not sponsored by Neutrogena, this part anyway. So uh, I went out and found this on my own, bought it with my own money, they don't even know that I know about it. This is a pretty cool little gadget. Let me know if you've ever tried it. Okay, my hands might be shaking because I'm very nervous as uh, it's expected. So I'll have to just slide on my shoes and um, head downstairs. Just waiting on a text to come. This is as good as the face is gonna and hair are gonna get. Um, never quite comes together when you need it to really look amazing, but everyone else was allowed to bring assistants slash friends, and somehow when I asked, they said, no, you have to figure out how to do this all by yourself. So I'm a little freaked out now, realizing it. everyone else has like people to help film for them, and I'm just doing this with my vlog camera. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. It's all good, it's all gonna work out. See you guys when we get there. So we are at the location, and Angie's here with me. Beautiful. We're ready. She's wearing the dress I want to buy for October. Just, that's what it looks like on someone tall. Okay. So there is um, one of the other bloggers. There's simply Sona over there, and this is the this is beautiful. This location. Check this out. We're um, just chilling. The cool's in hair and makeup, so we're waiting for that to finish, and then Sona will go first. Then I'll do the second interview, and then Angie does the last. Oh, champagne guy, check this out. And see. Uh, sure. This is a strawberry basil spritzer. What's in the spritzer? Strawberry and basil. Okay. And sparkling water. I think I'll stick with the spritzer and skip the champagne. Sure. Thank you. Slammer part is over. I'm literally sitting on the floor of a hotel lobby because we just changed. And look, Angie looks like Angie again. Hey, it's me again. Hanging up my pretty dress. You're hanging it up? 
You're so good. I just wadded it line up and said mine in that. Because I was sweating so badly this going right to the dry cleaner. I'm going to my notebook the second I get home. This is it. Oh, you're, is it? I love that dress. I'm just telling y'all now, you yes. may see that dress. This is so pretty. Uh, in my closet. But um, I will I will give Angie the link. So when you yeah. click on that link, it's going to Angie's commissions. Just letting you know that. That's what you do. Anyway, so yeah, we're... I am literally sitting on the floor. We lived. We, we lived. We, we met survived. Nicole. We, we talked to her and we survived. You know, she's really nice. She was really nice. And, and I have Great. to say, she looks like she's been photoshopped because she's so flawless. She, she, yeah, her skin, her skin was amazing. It's the, uh, the magic is over. I am now at LAX. I thought it was a Terminal 5. Everyone on this bus with me thought we were on Terminal 5. Now we are on a bus, getting bus to a commuter terminal, and only now, we are literally driving on a runway, and only in LAX or is there traffic. There is traffic on a freaking runway. You see behind me? Seriously, where did traffic to? To get to another terminal. <laughs> and we're on a taxiway. <laughs> you gotta love LA, it's crazy. Alright, I'm on the world's tiniest airplane. It's two and two seats. Very tiny. So... Hopefully, this man's in one piece and sanitary. I'm not a nervous flyer, but this is not. This is, this is small. <laughs> like, small and old. Back to my normal life. No more celebrity interviews. <laughs> I just ordered Shane's homecoming dates corsage. That's ready for pickup on t at 10 on Saturday, by the way. It's just under our last name. So many options now. Anyway, and much more complicated. No, I got a mum for her, but not from there. Originally. They make mums there now, by the way. Sure. So maybe next year. Anyway, and now I think is there a golf store today on the list? I'm picking up my clubs that are getting re that are re -grabbed. I feel like this happens a lot. Maybe once every six months I do it. I feel like it's more often than that. No. Maybe a little. Just every six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say good night and goodbye and thank you for watching. And it's been quite a week, hasn't it? Um, yeah, back to normal, um, nothing particularly interesting happening for probably next week's vlog, but I kind of like it that way. Just between you, me, and the walls, I like normal, boring, non-travel, everyday life. That makes my heart a lot happier. Not that I'm complaining, total bucket list, amazing moment, but I don't think I can handle stress like that every week. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did this week. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.